What's up everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. The world's greatest living artist right here. Let's do this. All right, we're going to paint some uh Yes, we're gonna paint some happy little flowers. Okay, that was an owl that I painted earlier. But, uh, but I'm painting some flowers now. But I can't, because I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. You're cool like that too, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So it's okay. All right. I'm gonna eat this you got it. Okay, guys. So we're gonna get started with the painting. Let's see where this goes. Let's see this. Let me just clean my little palette here. A little bit. And... Let's do it. little flowers Look at that. Oh. Super simple. I mean, why complicate? Why complicate things? You know? Simple. Put a little bit of that simplicity in the game. And just see what happens, you know? Not, not, nothing, too, nothing too real. Nothing too surreal. Nothing too cray. Just see what happens. Yeah. I hope they got you the right one, Marcel. Right yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. A little simple.
got a question here. Uh, was watching your marketing video you put on YouTube. Very good, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I try to try to put some stuff on on YouTube. You know, from time to time. Yeah, what what was your uh, what was your favorite takeaway from that YouTube? If you don't mind me asking you, from that YouTube video on marketing, if there was a takeaway for you, a favorite one, which one was it? Something that you're like, dude, I like this. This this is it right here. What he said right here, or maybe maybe there was one more than one, but at least one. If you could share one of those. I would highly appreciate it and stuff. How's it going, Al? Good to see you here. Let's see. I like the thing you said about going after likes. About not going after likes but sales. Yeah, that's 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 really the That's the That's really the secret, guys. If there is such a thing. Um uh, when I first started getting my work out into the marketplace I wasn't marketing you know how everybody's convincing you to like go market whether it's Gary V or or any of the gurus out there Ty Lopez Grant Cardone they're all talking about hey go market go market marketing is where it's at I was watching also a video by this guys that came that came up with the art storefronts the art yeah I think it's art storefronts or something like that they send out emails and whatnot and they, they posted a a video on by one of their uh, marketing uh, strategists, I guess, on uh, on YouTube, and the entire video was about go market, and I'm like, dude, if that's the case, then what's the use of being in your in your website? Then? If the case is to go market. Now, before you discredit what I'm saying, I'm going to tell you a little something right now. Vivek says, yeah, it's so easy to get distracted by likes. Yeah, the, the likes will, will make you feel even sad, you know. Cause you'll post a painting and be like, oh, I only got three or 30 likes or whatever. Oh, it, might, people, it must not be a good painting. No, it's not that. The algorithm is just not... It's not favoring you. Look, I've, I've tested this over and over. Check it out. Some people that, that are in my subscription, I've told them how to, how to hack Facebook. Right? It's not hacking it, but I, I like to use that word. It sounds cool. How to hack Facebook so that you can get an audience and you can start getting those, those people engaged with your work. So this... Uh, this person that's in my in my monthly subscription, learning from from my 
my strategies and whatnot. They went and they posted something on on their Facebook. Um, I don't know. It was like a, a quote by an artist. I don't know if it was Monet or one of those. And then I got it because I'm always doing that. I'm always getting stuff and, and moving it to different places. I got the same quote. He he got probably about at most 20 people engaging because he's, he's just starting out with that. He got like 20 people engaging in that. I got the same one and I posted it on mine. And yeah, well, the difference is clear, right? I had about 90, uh, I think it was over 90 or probably more. But last time I checked it, it was like 90, 90 shares and like 200 comments. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that is that he's got, a, I don't know, three, five hundred people uh, that like his page. I got over 20,000 people that like my page. It's the same quote. Why, why did I get so much? Well, that's, that's the difference. The difference is I, I have more engagement happening. Right? I have more engagement. And so it's not your art. If you put your artwork in your page, you'll get some engagement. You put it on someone else's page that has the engagement. You, let's say that Kim Kardashian shares that or Oprah on their page. And I share it. It's got nothing to do with likes. Uh, let's see. Vital Painting says, I'm now not hashtagging arty hashtags on Instagram. Not going after new homeowners, etc. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 so much you can do, you know. There's so much you can do, and, and because there's so much you can do, many times we get distracted. We get distracted by the next shiny thing. So everybody out there is telling you to go and market, 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 market. Everyone's telling you that. Uh, I don't disagree with that. I think that is that is extremely important, and I do that a lot. But what I went for first was the sale. I went for the sale first. Because marketing, as good as everybody makes it out to be, marketing is a long-term game. So, you know, let's say I'm trying to open a, a, a taco stand. I can, I can mark it on TikTok and Instagram till my face turns blue. As much as possible. All day, 24-7. That, it's not going to necessarily guarantee me sales right away, guys. What will guarantee me sales right away is making a damn good taco. And taking my taco stand. Right? Where there is traffic, and giving a, a, a giving a hell of a deal, making a I don't know a damn good taco, whether it's a gourmet taco or a classic taco or whatever, take my little taco stand and put it where there is a lot a lot of people, where there's traffic, where there's a lot of cars driving by or whatever, and uh, and many times people get distracted by that. People get distracted by that. They get super distracted by it. They think, they think if I just mark it, if I just mark it, I'm going to start making those sales. And and there is there is that, of course. Marketing is extremely important, but it is a, it is a long term game, and that's why most people get discouraged by marketing. You see anybody trying to market, they get discouraged right away. They'll do it sometimes, and they'll stop. And they'll do it again, and then they, they, they feel bad. Man, I'm not consistent enough. I need to go do it again. And then and, and then it's this on and off thing. And even if you're consistent with it, uh, it takes time. It takes time. Whereas a sale is, is immediate. So what I've learned was to do both. Right? I'm going after the sale, but I'm also marketing.
That's how, that's how I learned how to approach it anyways. But the first thing I went for is the sail. Just just to make everyone clear, I, that's that that's my the way that I operate is is I need the sail first because without the sail I wouldn't even have steam to go market. There's no energy for me to go market. This is why people like Gary Vee say you should never put yourself in a situation unless you absolutely have to, which is most people have to. Most people have to put it, most people are in a situation where they need to get paid. That's why that's why Gary Vee talks a lot to young to a young audience because the young audience can live with their parents and and stick it out and hold on, you know? Hold on, don't don't rush don't rush this thing because if you market first and you play the long-term game, it's going to be a lot better than if you rush towards uh, just trying to make the sales in the beginning. I think, I think any artist who's got any sort of salt can make a living as an artist. Any sort of salt. They don't have to be so good. Just you just don't have to suck at it. That's all. You have to you have to be able to to uh, just apply yourself a bit. I think it's one of the easiest things to be able to make a living as an artist. It's one of the easiest things out there. Growing and 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 scaling and you know getting paid uh, a more substantial income and whatnot that that takes a that takes a little bit more in my experience but uh but it's the same effort my god it's the same effort now that i think about it i look back my wife and i were talking about that the other day the other day i just remembered i'm not working more i don't have more I don't have more hours. I'm not working more, but I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid almost ten times more than what I did um, nine years ago. So, so what is it? It's an interesting concept. A little butterfly. Price, yeah, it, it's 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 not that linear. Now, some artists have experienced that where their prices just go up, and and they keep doing the same thing, and their prices. That to me is 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 been a little bit more difficult, in my in my journey. Uh, has been a bit more difficult than than some of the stories I've heard from some other artists. It's not necessarily price. For me, what has been is multiple sources, different avenues where I, I start getting income that are all related to artwork, right? Some of, them, some of them are commissions. Some of them are auctions. Some of them are galleries. Some of them are online shops. The email list, the this, the that. But I'm not working... I'm not working more hours. It's the same time. It's just that I've, I've distributed myself, if you will. I've, uh, um, what's that word I used in one of the videos? One of the workshops, I used this word. I forgot the word right now. I've cloned myself, if you will, in different avenues. So it's not necessarily that the price has gone ten times higher, although in some of, in, in some of my work it has, but that's not necessarily why. It, it's because I'm in I'm in different places at the same time. So as as you're watching me here, someone's watching a YouTube video. Right, someone's watching a YouTube video of me painting, and someone's getting emails from me through an autoresponder, and 
Someone's probably watching a TikTok right now of my work. See, I've, I've cloned myself. This is so easy to do today. It was very hard back in the day. Back in the day, the way you cloned yourself was you had to come out in a few publications and, uh, and have your work in, in different galleries. And, and, that, and even that was tricky because most galleries don't like you to do that. Uh, today, uh, I don't see it any different than, than how it used to be. Especially today, galleries are trying to conserve you they don't they don't want you exhibiting in other places because they they want to be able to be the only ones who exhibit your work yeah I'm marketing myself when I'm sleeping I, I I was joking the other day with my wife I was like I, I woke up one day right I wake up in the, in the morning and then I I, don't know, I, go, I go for a little walk get a little coffee with my wife walk around downtown where, where we live and then uh and then i check my phone right i check my phone like an hour or so after i wake up and i look at it and then i and then i realize all these people you know are asking questions uh, some people are happy some people are angry at me because i call myself the world's greatest living artist some people are are uh, have some really negative stuff to say about my work some people have some really great stuff to say about my work um, I made a few sales while I was while I was asleep and all these things happened and I was asleep you know I wasn't awake when all of this was happening it's so easy to do today the the, the, the marketing the marketing thing is so easy uh, but but I, I think what's more important is that your mind has to be in the right place because if not, you get distracted. It is super easy to get distracted also because of that. You as an artist, um, the easiest thing that can happen is you're, you're going to you're gonna get distracted. You know, this, in, instead of posting on TikTok, you're gonna, be, you're gonna be watching TikTok videos rather than posting. Um, instead of, um, I don't know, in, 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 instead of sending out emails you're going to be reading emails from someone else uh and so it's, it's extremely easy to get distracted because everything is uh, is in our fingertips and so the the, the marketing thing is extremely important because those kinds of things happen. What I just what I just share with you guys. You wake up and all of a sudden you're like, oh, how did I do all of that? And I was asleep. Well, it happened. It happened because you those are seeds that you planted. But um, but in the beginning, that's not necessarily possible for everybody. Right in the beginning, it's available, but it's not necessarily possible. You might have, uh, I don't know. Uh, limited time, let's say, or 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 a few people only are following you on Facebook. Only uh, 200 people, and out of those 200 people, only 10 people actually ever read anything you you post or anything like that. And so you might feel a bit more, um, you know, um, I don't know what the word is, but you might feel like like things are not lining up your way, and I felt like that when I was starting. So one of the very first things that changed my attitude is that I went for the sale. So rather than trying to get likes and, and, and all of that, I learned how to just go for the sale. How did I do that? I did that through a series of, of um, whatever I could, right? Whatever I, whatever I, I understood to be something that worked. Um, cash flow strategies was one of the first ones that I started doing. The, the, one of the first cash flow strategies that I did was I'm going to get rid of my artwork and I'm going to let everyone on Craigslist know. And I'm going to create listings on Craigslist and I'm going to make a... Uh, this was, of course, pre, pre-COVID. pre this was, this was a while back now. People are telling me that they're using the same strategy on, face, on Facebook Marketplace. 
but uh, I just let people know I'm having an art sale. Come to my come to my uh, to my yard outside my home or whatever. And that's how I got started with that. Hey Dan. And so that was one of the strategies. Another strategy that I did is uh, doing the the commissions. You know, start offering commissions at a at a ridiculously low price. A, a ridiculously low price that makes sense to me, right? That makes sense to me that that I can be like, oh, okay, if if I did one commission every day like this, uh, I'd make X you know, X amount of, of dollars a month. And so that made sense to me. So I started doing that. And, uh, and different, different strategies that I teach. The cash flow strategies, they're not, they're not meant to, to, to um, get you to stay there forever. I mean, they, they work till, I, I still do those strategies. I still do things like, uh, art sales like that they're different though they're online i do uh with my with my email list i do ebay it's a it's a cash flow strategy on ebay uh, muchas gracias huge art sale was the first video you ever watched of mine oh cool that was on uh that was on youtube wasn't it And so there's so many different things you can do as an artist um, to get some cash flow. Get some cash flow. If, if that's the intention. If the intention is not that. Uh, if the intention is not that, there's, there's another route, which is the long-term game, the marketing game. The marketing is the long-term game. It's not, it doesn't happen automatically. It doesn't happen right away. It's, it's, if it's not expensive, it's very, uh, um, there's a lot of, uh, work to be done. A lot of posting, a lot of creating content. You know, I always hear people say that, that, that marketing is free. You know, oh, when you do marketing, it's free. No, it's not. Unless you think your time is worth nothing, then yeah, it's free. It's not. Marketing is extremely expensive. Marketing is one of the most expensive things, if not the most expensive thing. I've seen this over and over with, with small businesses. They start out and, and they think they're going to get, they're going to market their way to a sale. And I don't think that that's how it works. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a business expert, so I probably shouldn't be even talking about that because I'm not a business expert. But I have learned a couple of things in my own art career. And I've noticed this, I've seen this over and over. People try to market they, their ways into a sale um, when they're starting out. And, and I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that that's the way to do it unless you have some very deep pockets. Some very deep pockets that maybe, you know, you're gonna start a law, a law firm or something and, and you have a, a, a few million bucks to burn and you're gonna start wrapping the local the city buses with your face on it then maybe um especially those injury law offices and that type of deal but if you're an artist i've seen artists trying to 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 fund through marketing their way to a sale and and i find that the most difficult thing to do i think what marketing is is marketing is something that you do in order to become a, an established brand in order f like so when people see you rather than say should I go with you know this person or Jose Trujillo dude I'm gonna go with Jose Trujillo I see Jose Trujillo everywhere I keep I keep thinking about blah 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 Jose Trujillo is the person to go because I've seen his videos I see him on TikTok I see him on Instagram blah 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 blah, blah. I get his emails Jose Trujillo is the person to go but that's not that's not why I made a sale from the beginning the reason why I made a sale is because I I, I I got a great offer and I put it in front of people. Submitting Bill. 
Marketing is the most time consuming thing ever. Ah. Everybody wishes they could hire someone to market. You know? And, and so I always hear this from people like, oh man, if, if uh, the whole marketing thing, you know? If, um, if I just market enough, I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start selling stuff. And it's like, well, yeah, yeah, that, that is true. But you haven't figured out what enough is yet. En enough doesn't mean, doesn't mean a couple of posts a day. Or, or when people say, oh, marketing is, is, is like super low cost. You know, uh, even people call it organic marketing or free marketing. There's no such thing as that. It's, 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 uh, those are, those are funny, funny concepts that very savvy marketers come up with. You know, it's not going to cost you anything. Dude, what do you mean it's not going to cost me anything? I'm going to be on, on TikTok or I'm going to be on Instagram for... Just check this out, guys. I do three videos like this at an average a day. Each video is about 45 minutes. Now, if I wasn't painting, right? If I wasn't painting and multitasking, it'd probably be impossible for me to do these three videos. Just think about that for a second. Live, right? Live videos. How's it going, Alicia? Good to see you here. <laughs> I love that. Hola, macho. <laughs> uh, Bill says, when I did real estate, I schedule an hour every day for social media engagement. Yeah, absolutely. And you probably found out that an hour wasn't, 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 uh, wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. You know, um, social media engagement. I mean, I, I had, I had someone for me pre COVID doing social media engagement, uh, seven hours a day, six days of the week, seven hours a day. Plus, plus what I did on top of what they did. I still have someone working for me doing social media engagement. Oh, thank you so much, Alicia. We love we love you. We love having you here, and we love you too. <laughs> and so, so people come up with these concepts like, "Oh, you know, do it the free way," and I'm like, "Dude, there's no such thing as free way. What are you talking about?" And so, I'm not saying this to discourage anyone. Of course not. It's extremely important to do marketing, and and uh, people should do it. I don't know if you guys have seen those ads on Facebook where marketers are like throwing an ad out there and saying, oh, I'm going to show you how to do blah, 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 X, Y, how to, how to sell your artwork or whatever with no, um, what do they say? With no uh, uh, ads and no boring ads and costly ads and this and that. And, but, but, but they're trying to get your attention through an ad. And it's like, really? Like, Man, this is a, this is a very strange world we live in. And I, I think it's because because we are a, a lot of us have this idea that that um, that there is a way to do it that it's not going to cost. And I'm, I'm telling you, there isn't a way to do it that it's not going to cost. It's either going to cost you money or it's going to cost you time. But it's going to cost. Or just pay for ads and say, I'm slowly saying, yeah. Yeah, it, it, the reason is that it all works. Look, if I run an ad, which I do, I run Facebook ads uh, to, to, to get, a, let's call it qualified leads, right, to my email list. Uh, just very simple, very simple, uh, simple funnels to get a, to get a lead into my, into my Facebook, into my, uh, into my, uh, not Facebook, into my email. I also run ads for Facebook to, to get people to, to like my, my Facebook fan page and engage in there and, and participate. And there's different ads that I run, but, uh, but it doesn't take a genius 
after blowing up some money on that to realize that it does work but you still need to do this kind of stuff what I'm doing here and if you're not doing this kind of stuff forget about it you, you still need to do you know hey what's up you guys you still need to do that you still need to go and pick up the phone you still need to go send out some postcards you still need to you, you need to do some of that some of that personal stuff some of the personal stuff because that stuff uh, has a has a ridiculously huge ROI in the long term that that stuff nothing compares to that stuff actually in my in my book but it all depends on what you're doing right some people just want to make the sale when i started all i want to do was make the sale after after some time i started realizing okay i, I need to start branding i need to start doing something to brand myself it, it, i love the sale but it can't just be the sale i i need to i need to go and, and let people know that i exist for those of you who, who don't know uh how i started doing this when i first started nobody no I, I didn't have anyone in my email list or anyone on my social media or i didn't ha i didn't have social media there was nothing all i had was a great offer a great product a great offer and and a lot of desire to work to work very hard that's all i had great product great offer great product bad offer a lot harder to land so i i I started implementing some of the things that I learned from direct marketing. I've been studying direct marketing probably for the last, I don't know, 25 years or so. Uh, and and uh, what, what I mean by that is I, I worked for, a, for a, a couple of businesses, but one of them who uh, paid for, uh, pretty much paid for my education on direct, on direct marketing, direct response. And, and so I learned, I learned from some, some, uh, some interesting some interesting cats and and a, a lot of that stuff based on, on 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 what i've learned goes back to the same thing one of my favorite direct response markers was gary halbert i think he he is the goat when it comes to direct response uh, uh dan kennedy uh learned from him certainly and 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 then uh there's this other dude that was working for Grant Cardone, what's his name, uh, Frank, or, or with Grant Cardone, Frank Kern learned from Dan Kennedy, who learned from Gary Halbert. Gary Halbert was, was, was basically the GOAT. Uh, he said something that stuck with me in everything that I do in my, in my, in my work. He said, uh, it all comes down to the offer. You know, like he basically said, stop messing with it. It all comes down to the offer. If the offer sucks, forget about it. I, I don't care how much you say or how great you sound. If the offer sucks, the offer sucks. The, the offer has to be amazing. It comes down to the offer. So that stuck with me. And when I started implementing that, it was night and day. Literally night, night and day. I was having such a hard time trying to sell my work and, and trying to get my work into the galleries and, and whatnot. The moment that I started offering something that no one else was offering. And I don't mean as in uniqueness, but the, the offer was unique, not the product itself necessarily. A lot of people are offering paintings, but the offer was very unique. Uh, it was night and day. It, I mean, it was literally one month I was making about two, three thousand bucks. The next month, boom, I was making 15 grand every month. And so it was like this, it was like this shift simply because I changed the offer. Uh, Alicia says, I, I watched several YouTube videos of yours and, and finally you did a shameless plug. I was so excited to find out <laughs> you were on eBay. <laughs> oh, I did. I did a shameless plug on eBay about eBay, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I was like, I was like, go buy some of my stuff on eBay. <laughs> And one of the reasons, uh, this is another thing that I learned also from direct response marketers. Uh, one of the one of the reasons that I that I shamelessly that's why I jokingly I jokingly uh, 
jokingly call it the shameless plug. But one of the reasons I, I'm not ashamed of telling people, hey, go buy my stuff, go buy my stuff, is, is from, from this principle that I learned from this, from this cat, which is, dude, deliver, deliver, deliver. And when you deliver, deliver some more. And after you do that, you are not going to feel bad about telling people, by the way, go buy my stuff. You know, if, if somebody wants to, if somebody likes the painting, hey, it's on eBay. The auction's going to start at 99 cents. But you never feel bad when you're flooding YouTube. You're flooding everywhere that you can, where you have this, this little audience that, that you're cultivating. You're flooding it with giving as much, whatever it is, whether it's making someone see uh, opportunity in a different way. Uh, someone who's trying to sell their artwork or someone who doesn't know how to package their artwork or someone who doesn't know how to frame their artwork or someone who's feeling down and 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 you're like you know what I, i've been there myself I, I or i i i go there too from time to time and this is how i get out of that this might help you when you deliver enough um content that is that is positive that is that you know that you're doing something good uh you, you you'll never hold back you'll never hold back on on asking at some point you have to ask look at that <laughs> vivek <laughs> so so again, guys, this is one of the reasons I, I said in that video, for those of you who haven't seen it, I think Vital was, was uh, the person who, who said they just saw it on, on YouTube. Um, this video, I talked about marketing, and, and it, was, it was based on an Instagram Live that I did at, at home. I was at home when I did it. And, and it was about, um, hey, stop it, dude. It was about... Um, how I'm not looking for likes. I'm not looking to get liked. I'm not looking for people to like me. I'm looking for a sale. And, and that mentality was very different. Was very different and, and very uh, instrumental in my, in my business. I, I'm looking for a sale. And, but I explain it, what it is. It's not, it's not, that, it's not as self-serving as it sounds. It really isn't. Um, but uh, but know, know what you're looking for so that you don't get distracted and think, oh, I need to get likes or I need to get follows on Instagram, which are not bad. But is that what you're looking for? Likes and follows on Instagram? If that's what you're looking for, that's fine. But, but that's, that's, not, that's not what I'm looking for. Now, I do get them and I like when I get them, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a sale. I'm looking, I'm looking to find a collector or a buyer. That's what I'm looking to, to find. And, and so I don't, I don't, uh, I try not to waste my energy or my time trying to get people to, to, to like my videos or, or trying to get people to, to like my, my, uh, my Instagram account. Um, I, I, I post usually more than three times a day, sometimes less, but usually more than three times a day on Instagram. And sometimes I go bananas. There's many times that I post over, you know, five, six, ten times a day. And, you know, and I get these messages from people that are like, are like, oh, dude, I see you all the time. I'm tired of seeing you. Don't post that much, blah, blah, blah. And, and that's the resistance, right? That's the resistance talking uh, through them. Of course, people that love those stuff that I do, they can't get enough of what I'm doing. They can't get enough of what I'm showing. Give me a second, my friends. I think I gotta go open a, a, a door. Yeah, let me open it. I got it, mija. Okay, come on. I think this is out there. Oh, how are you guys? Oh, oh, I don't have a Hi. Dog. I'm sorry. How are you? Good. I'm go get a mask. Yeah. 
Let me let me get a mask, uh, Kathy. Tell them to get off Instagram and get to work exactly. But I can't do that right now because 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 they're they're kicking it with me. <laughs> Yeah, they're over there, Mijo. The disposal ones? Yeah. Marcel, make sure to put a mask on. We, we have a visitor. Okay. Friend. Yeah. Oh. Okay, my friends. I'm going to get back to you okay. in a bit, okay? I, I, I got to take care of uh, a visitor, friend. And uh, talk to you guys in a bit. This was juicy, man. This was super juicy. If you guys like this, please do come back and... Uh, because I'm going to be talking more about this throughout the day. All right? Peace out, my friends.